Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Once again, Mohammed from ESC Clermont Business School. Uh, in this session, we are going to present one of our new specialized masters, so the MSc in Transforming Mobility, uh, Business Models and Vehicles for the Future. Uh, so today I am happy to have with me uh, Florence Puiso, who is the head of the program, the head of the MSc program, and Valentin, also who studied the same specialization previously in the MIM, the master program. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mohamed. Hello, Mohamed. Hello, Valentin. Hello, Florence. How are you? Fine. Good to see Good. you. <laughs> Good to see you, too. So if you could start by introducing uh, yourselves to the public. Yes, thank you, Mohamed, to welcome us in your session. Uh, my name is Florence Pizze, and I'm head of the Transforming Mobility Business Models and Vehicles for the Future MSc program offered by the uh, ESC Clermont Business School. This uh, program is available at master level. It was created uh, within the framework of ESC Clermont Business School Sustainable Mobility Program and co-constructed in partnership with the engineering school Sigma Clermont and with many other uh, international companies and partners. It aims to prepare participants for new professions that are emerging to drive the transformations that are taking place, especially amongst the automotive industry, but not only. It concerns all the mobility sector at large, energy specialists, digital platforms, mobility operators. And um, what I can add is that this program would interest all automotive enthusiasts and all those who want to contribute to create a better mobility for the future. Transforming mobility is one of the major challenges of the 21st century. The world's population is growing. It um, was around 2 billion people 100 years ago. Now we are around 7.5 billion. And um, experts predict that it should stabilize at around 100, uh, 10 billion people, sorry. So we need to be able to uh, move around more and better whilst reducing the impact on the environment, on the health of the people. Those who are motivated by this challenge would benefit from uh, this uh, program, irrespective of the background, whether they come from engineering schools, from the university, from a business or management background, or whether they have studied logistic, law, finance, for example. That's it. Thanks a lot for the introduction, uh, Florence. Valentin, if you could introduce yourself, say a bit about uh, what you're doing and your background. Yes, of course. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Valentin. I'm a student in last year at ESC uh, Clermont, so last year of master. Uh, I'm actually studying uh, economic and management uh, at ESC, and I have the, the specializations of uh, transforming mobility and uh, urban mobility uh, at this school. I'm actually a work study contract at Michelin, the tire industry. Uh, and I have done uh, different in internships uh, at Google or in a startup in the, the incubator uh, of my school and I study abroad too during uh, one year and a half, one year in Peru in South uh, uh, America and uh, six months, five months actually in Mexico the last year. So that's all for me I guess. Okay great. Uh, so we have seen so the introduction of the program and of the MVTs. Uh, within a few seconds we're gonna move to the questions uh, session. As usual, we would like to remind you that you can also ask us your questions in direct through the comments section of the Facebook and YouTube live that's going on. Um, and we would start by addressing already the questions that we had received from our followers. So yeah, uh, Florence, the first question that was asked already by Nelly, what is the main focus of this program and what is what does it prepare to? Well, um, participants will benefit from a global understanding of environmental, technological and socioeconomic issues. They will uh, have a cross-disciplinary training with uh, companies coming from uh, various sectors such as automotive industry, um, digital platform, energy specialists, fleet management, consulting firms, 
public sector provider um, and they it, it prepared to uh, be let's say a mobility manager which means um, different kind of, of uh, job opportunities it can be a project manager or a service manager dedicated to mobility solutions or mobility products um, who need to be created or who need to be uh, improved it can be a mobility and innovation experience manager it can be an energy and sustainable mobility sales representative it can be a fleet manager, it can be a junior sustainable um, mobility consistent, consultant. We can see um, various job opportunities who appears uh, since more or less two years. Does it answer your question, Mohamed? Yeah, it's very clear. Uh, speaking about, in particular, so the professional experience, I'd like to uh, give the word to Valenta. What kind of career should the students expect uh, upon finishing this program. So perhaps you can talk about your current work experience in uh, Michelin. I think, I think there is a problem with the connection. Yeah, we are really sorry that I think we lost uh, Valenta. We are gonna try to reconnect once again. Um, so yeah, in fact, what we were trying to uh, uh, provide focus on is uh, the professional experience. So perhaps Florence, you can uh, uh, take the word now. Why, which kind of careers does this program prepare to? Well, as I say, like, like mobility manager or project service um, conception of new solutions uh, are more or less as well in the finance um, domain because the business model evolves. I think what is important to understand is that uh, today the triple disruption, which is due to digitalization, to environment concerns, and to the technology technology uh, changes, is leading to profound changes. And the emergence of new professions um, will continue uh, in the, uh, the next years. So we are seeing, for example, the appearance of new players like uh, digital platforms offering new mobility solutions, such as BlaBlaCar, such as Uber. Um, we can observe as well the transition from a possession-based economic system to a service usage-based economy. And this is transforming a business model profoundly. So depending on what you like, the, the uh, job opportunity will be various at the end. Um, either in the uh, innovation uh, as, a, as a, an entrepreneur in the mobility, uh, in mobility solution, or as a business developer. But as well, um, as we can see, the introduction of a, a data aggregation, um, which um, uh, allows a geolocalization, uh, like geolocalization applications, um, like Waze, for example. Um, this is providing a better understanding of the distribution of flows and uh, mobility across the territory. And this offers um, possibility, for example, for, for people who like to work with uh, business intelligence and data. Um, there are a lot of opportunity as well uh, connected to the fact that there is an increased connectivity um, or that there is a lesser boundaries between public and private transport solutions as um, individual vehicle is shared more and more, and it offers and it will continue to evolve. And so uh, I think there are really many opportunities, very various, depending on your background. If you come from a previous um, finance background, it will be different as if you are an engineer, for instance, or if you have more uh, commerce oriented. Yeah, I think we have uh, Valent. Thanks a lot, uh, Florence. I think we have Valenta back on the line. So yeah, Valenta, we, we, where did we stop? We stopped at your professional experience, that you're, what you are currently doing, what your job is all about now. Thank you, Florence, for answering for me. Sorry, this is a, the direct. This is not the retransmission, as you can see. Um, actually, so I'm working uh, at Michelin. Uh, I'm working the business unit of uh, track and buses. So that's not uh, very, very sexy as you can uh, imagine, but this is more sexy than you can imagine because I'm working in um, transforming mobility and sustainable mobility. So my job is for Michelin and for my business units 
to develop sustainable mobility offers, to understand the market, to understand how the market will be in 10, 20, 30 years and more. So to imagine a business model, uh, maybe uh, at machine we do we make tires, for example. Uh, so maybe what uh, will gonna be the next the, the the new tires in the next years for electric vehicles, for hydrogen vehicles, for new energy ve vehicles. So this is my job, and uh, I'm working to to understand the ecosystem in the one we are living. So uh, for the big entities like uh, United Nations, uh, WHO, understand uh, what are uh, uh, what are the needs and what they do. Uh, for the companies, uh, uh, talking about regulations, norms, uh, regarding the business, of course. So a lot of different things, a lot of internal things. Uh, I'm working with the supply chain, but also the marketing, also the industry, also the tire makers, the distributors. So I, I am working with a lot of different people. And for me as an intern or as a work study contract student, uh, I can learn a lot. I'm working with uh, with people that have a, a really good job and uh, with a lot of responsibilities. So every day is a new, is a new learning. And uh, all of those people are helping me to improve myself, to improve my skills. And that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, really interesting for me. So it's really the knowledge that you obtained uh, during this course. It's really what you are applying in your current uh, job role. That's, of course, very important. Exactly. exactly. To have this connection between uh, whatever you're learning at school and then applying it in the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, Florence, uh, speaking uh, about the corporate network, so the partnerships that we have with companies, are there any companies that are involved in the construction of this course? Yes, yes, of course. The program has been specifically designed with the collaboration of internationally renowned companies and their experts, um, such as Michelin, uh, tire manufacturers such as Renault, car manufacturer such as Engie, who is a, um, an energy player, La Poste, uh, which is a public operator uh, who has the first uh, fleet, electrical fleet uh, in the world, um, BNP Paribas Personal Finance, and Emile Frey, which is more a retailer. Um, and we have also smaller companies like uh, Joubert, or as well Startup. Um, who, who support the program are part of it and professional uh, experts working in this uh, field and in these companies are part of the of the of the program yeah lots of companies of different industries we have seen banking courier delivery uh, car tire like uh, michelin so there are lots as you can see, there are lots of companies that are involved of different industries and of different sizes as well. And uh, for you, Valentin, how did you manage so to find uh, this opportunity within Michelin? Is it through the school uh, network, through a career day? How was the experience for you? Uh, you have to know, for example, if we are talking about Michelin, uh, the school uh, the school is in Clermont. Michelin is the is the the only one industry. Uh, the only one uh, big company uh, in France of the CAC 40 uh, stock exchange market uh, that has uh, is uh, headquarters in Clermont-Ferrand, and so the school has a partnership with uh, Michelin. But um, for my case, I was in Mexico as I said just before for my last year, and I I, I went on the website, on the career website of Michelin, and I uh, I, I I just send my my uh, my uh, my curriculum vitae, my CV, and uh, my motivation letter to uh, to a different offer. And in less than a week, four or, or five days, I found uh, my uh, work study contract, so 10,000 km kilometers away. And uh, that uh, that was really very, very interesting for me and uh, very easy too. And the school helped me for that. Yeah, and it's, it's really, it's a very good example that even when you are not physically in France, but due to this link that we are already having with the industry, the, so those kind of companies, they already trust the diploma and trust that mm. the students that are there have do have all the competencies that are preparing them for uh, the job. Uh, and it was true before the lockdown because it was uh, in 2019. And I, I think that is, is going to be more true uh, before uh, after the lockdown, of course, and after the COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, now things are improving 
uh, a lot. Uh, moving on to another point, uh, something that you had already raised, Florence, so the partnership with the engineering school, uh, Sigma, what does this partnership represent? In fact? Well, the, of course, as a business school, we want to study those, all those topics and the mobility transformation from an economical point of view. Um, but uh, it's important as well to have a, a good understanding of technological evolutions and so of the, of the vehicles evolutions. So um, it's what, what this partnership brings. Uh, what is interesting and what is needed by the companies is uh, to have um, people being able to, to work um, cross-disciplinary. So in order to be able to work with, with uh, other partners, uh, it's important to, to understand what are their difficulties, what is the state of the art, was, uh, to, to understand a bit the culture of, of, uh, of your partner from this sector. So what we want is to be able to contribute to cross-disciplinary approach of the transition uh, needed in the mobility fields. So if you have a participant coming from different background, you experiment during the program, during the training, during the, the, the management project, uh, students will have to, to, to do, to manage, um, how to work with people who are thinking differently, who have different uh, background and point of view, and it's very uh, rich. I think and it prepares to professional, sorry, and it prepares to, to, to profession, yeah, to professional yeah. life. Okay, great. I think Valentin has a, a point to add over there. Uh, yes, uh, um, I'm, I'm totally agree with. I totally agree with uh, Florence. Uh, for example, this year, this semester, we had two students from uh, engineer school from Izima. Uh, for example, uh, it was really interesting for us as a business school student and for them as an engineer school student because we had a lot of different hard skills and even soft skills, and we can we could uh, both uh, learn from each other as cross uh, competencies, cross fertilizations, and they were interesting by different things. They were uh, a way to to see the things, to work on the things really different from us. So it, it was really a, a very rich uh, experience. And uh, I guess this is an experience that uh, we can have uh, uh, only in a program that is a cross between engineer and a business school. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this kind of approach of interdisciplinary connection between uh, people that are coming from different backgrounds, it's of course very beneficial because we do know that the engineers, they have their own way of doing things, whereas the business people, it's a different approach. So when they start working together, this is when the innovation happens, exactly. this is when the new models mm -hmm. get developed, and it's of course very rich because you can learn a lot from them and they can learn a lot from you as well. Mm -hmm. We have had this experience with various of our MSc programs, that welcome yeah, people coming from tech backgrounds, such as engineering or uh, computer science or mm -hmm. whatsoever. And then we have also had it, uh, mm -hmm. we have also had a lot of students that are coming from a commercial or business background. So of course this course is open as and we maybe have uh, verified. So I mean, maybe uh, one of the best example is uh, the first semester, uh, I was in the, in the specialty of startup and entrepreneurship and with Francois, uh, my friend from the engineer school, uh, we, we had to, to build a project for the for this speciality. And uh, because we had uh, cross uh, and interdisciplinary competencies, uh, we won the first prize. And uh, I think we, we were the only group that had uh, this opportunity to work with business and uh, engineer. And uh, I think that, uh, that brought us a lot to have those different conferences, competencies. Yeah, because this way you're creating like a link between the different competencies building something together that is very, let's say, innovative or that is very new, which you might not necessarily have the chance to do if you are working with someone who, who has the same mentality and same mm -hmm. mindset. And this is okay. all it's, it's working at, in, the, in the business. At Michelin, we, you, we have people, engineers, you have business people, you have design people, uh, uh, scientists, and so all those people are working together. Of course, yeah. For so why not at school? <laughs> yeah. And uh, Florence, uh, I think we have a few uh, minutes left. So if there are any further direct questions, so please go ahead with it. Uh, Florence, moving on to the style of teaching, how are the courses like? 
Well, our teaching methods are very, much, are very much based on learning by doing, test and learn. Full-time professor researchers and professional practitioners uh, in, are, have designed and take a mixed uh, pedagogical approach based on three main axes, knowledge input, methodological input, which helps to structure analysis and action, and then practical experimentation input. And I think what uh, Valentin has said uh, illustrate very well what we want to do. Um, I think it, it's good to explain that uh, you have to work uh, in an ecosystem and to be able to work cross-disciplinary. But if you experiment it, if you really manage a project in this way, then you, you'll be able to do it again and again. So um, participants are expected to carry out a project whilst benefiting from coaching uh, at a high level from highly involved professionals. And I think, um, I can give an, another example of uh, learning by doing. This year, particip participants uh, benefited from uh, media training in order to learn how to argue, to learn how to express themselves in front of the media in a real studio, like on a TV set, and it was animated by an expert media. So um, I think if you are passionate about cars, if you want to contribute to creating a better mobility in the future. Of course, yeah, yeah. Because the automobile industry is definitely uh, an industry that is evolving. We, we can't continue to uh, think about it like it was back in the day. That's only about like moving. That's why also, like you said, Florence, now you have uh, uh, so many successful models such as Uber, such as BlaBlaCar. Even BlaBlaCar, they had both the bus section of the SNCF. So that also, of course, is a sign of success of this uh, uh, of this kind of model. So we have lots and lots of models that are changing the way we move. Me personally, when I even went to uh, far, the Far East Asia, to countries as uh, Indonesia or Thailand, they have their own applications. And the, so many people, they don't have cars and they're just moving around, you know, with their phone, with even the motorcycles you can share. So it's it's really different and different models than the ones that were existing. Okay, I think uh, uh, I think now uh, we have come so uh, towards the end of the discussion. So I just like to uh, ask uh, Florence if you would like to uh, provide a debrief, a summary of any important uh, uh, points. It could be something that we didn't discuss about, or it could be just a few words to summarize the full discussion. Yes, I would like to say to all uh, uh, students who are passionate about cars or who want to contribute to creating a better mobility um, to join us because this program will enable uh, you to acquire a dual uh, cultural, technical and uh, business oriented, as well as uh, necessary skills to help you rise to exciting challenges in a rapidly changing environment, rich in opportunities. So um, we have companies who are very much interested in having this profile in, this, in their teams, and um, we would be very happy to welcome you in this program. Thank you so much uh, for the debrief, Florence. Perhaps, Valentin, you have some advice or suggestion that you want to share with uh, the future candidates for this kind of program? Uh, I think we, are, we have said a lot. Um, um, if you're really interested by automotive and automobile, but uh, uh, overall by mobility, and as you said, mobility is not only uh, automobile, but uh, it's bicycle, it's train, it's plane, it's everything. And uh, in the next uh, 10 and 30 years, we are going to move ourselves in a very different way that uh, we are doing uh, right now. So uh, this is uh, really interesting to you're learning new things and new stuff every day and every day. So if you want to have different knowledge and uh, if you want to meet people that think different than you, uh, this is a good uh, speciality, I think, and the good MSc. Okay, thank you so much uh, 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 to both of you. So Florence and uh, Valentin. Uh, now, you, before uh, before closing the discussion, we are just going to uh, uh, go quickly uh, through some important uh, points. So the admission process is still open. Uh, we, we remind you that you can apply until the end of July. 
you can apply on our application portal. The link is going to show on the screen. There it is. So you submit your file, and then we evaluate so the application file, and there is the video interview later to test your motivation, your skills, and to also provide you with even further details related to the program. If you have any further questions at all related to the MSc in Transforming Mobility, don't hesitate to contact us by email. My email is over there, and I'll be extremely happy to help you out with whatever queries that you may have. So uh, I'd like to thank once again, so Valentin and Florence for being here with me today and for all the important and interesting details that they shared today. Merci, Mohamed. Merci, thank Florence. Thank you so much. Thank you, Valentin. Thank you, Mohamed. Thank you, Bye. Thank you, thank you so much. And Bye. thanks to everyone who followed us today. And we remind you that we are having so uh, the last day tomorrow, the last uh, day where we will be conducting so this uh, those sessions of uh, Facebook and YouTube lives. We will be having sessions tomorrow from 12 p.m. to uh, 3 p.m. We will be uh, uh, looking at the student association life uh, at ESC Clermont, and then a presentation of the MSc in International Commerce and Digital Marketing, and finally a presentation of the MSc in Project management so we'll be looking forward to talking to you once again tomorrow meanwhile have a great day and we'll talk soon